daddy. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I was in the room. I know you called earlier. I didn't, yes, I didn't hear the phone. Yeah. Are you okay? How's mom? Another one, babe. Why did you go with her? <laughs> okay. Anyway, are you okay? Are you using your medications? Yeah, yes. Did you get me? Oh, okay, good, thank God, thank God. The 500,000 Naira that I sent, uh, 150, you can take 150, that's for you, sir. Amen. And then, uh, please help me give mommy 100,000. Yes. Then Messi told me um, she's going back to school next week. Yes, I know she made money, so um, please help me. Uh -huh. I mean, yes, and you can just share it um, between my sisters. Of course, <laughs> that is my responsibility. You don't have to know, it's my responsibility, that's okay. <laughs> yes, sir. No, Michael is not back, it's not home. Hey, um, speaking of which, Daddy, um, the contractor talked. Uh, me called me two days ago. He said um, that we can start the decking on the house project. Mm -hmm. He said it stopped raining, so um, we can start decking now. Yes, I told him. I said I'll raise by God's grace. I'll raise about two million naira. Um, you should give me a couple of weeks before the end of this month. So I'll raise the two million naira um, so we can start the decking. I want us to just finish that and complete the um, last floor, and then we'll start thinking about um, we'll start thinking about roofing. Yes, sir. Hey, Daddy, please, please don't mention anything to my husband. Don't say anything to him about the um, about the house, please. Please, don't mention anything to my husband. You know he doesn't know I'm building anything. He doesn't know I'm building a house. I know, I know you know, but sometimes you're always so excited when you're talking to him. You might just go and mention it. <clears throat> tell mommy to. Yeah, exactly, tell mommy. Because I'm the one building it. It's not the one building it. It's my money. So mommy should know me. Exactly. Daddy, okay. Mommy me. I think she was waiting for me to get home. Mommy, mommy. Daddy, I have to go, I have to go. Michael is here. Yeah, I don't want him to hear our conversation. I'll call you, I'll call you back later. Okay, bye. Ah. Uncle three days, ma. We are fine, we are fine. We are doing great. Oh, your wife and the children are doing all right. All glory be to God. All glory be to God. How is daddy doing? And uh, Tomiwa and uh, Dapo. Amen. Amen. All right, ma. Uh -huh. Mommy, you see, the money I sent to you yesterday is for both you and daddy. Uh -huh. I want you of you to share the money. Then for Tomiwa and Dapo, and please just tell them that I'm going to send their school fees to them next week. I, re I received their test too. I will send their school fees by next week. And please, don't, don't let my wife to know that I send you money. Please, I beg of you, just keep it a secret, just like you have always been doing. Eh <laughs> <laughs> and tell daddy too. Please, she didn't know, she did not know that I'm sending any money to you or to anybody in Nigeria. And also, as regard the project in Magodo, 
the contractor called me last uh, last week and they told me that the building will be ready for uh, for lease next by next month yeah they said the the eight unit of the two bedroom flat in magodo they said it's going to be ready for lease by next month and i've told them to go ahead and this is how once it once they get it ready just like i told you that you should make this a secret please don't let my wife to know anything yes i will call you back i'm at home now i have to hang up yes i have to hang up so Antinike, how was your trip thank god oh my brother amen i'm glad to see you it was so stressful mm -hmm. as a matter of fact I have never encountered a journey this stressful in my entire life. This is all because of the of the delay of the um, hurricane Harvey in Houston. What? Ugh. Wow. I am so glad we were. In fact, we were finally rerouted back to Dallas. That's how I was able to make it back here. Mm. Ah. <laughs> wow. Glory be to God. I just thank Amen. God. Wow. Amen. I just thank God. So, how is the family <laughs> and the ministry? We give God all the glory. God has been faithful. As a matter of fact, I would have loved to come with my family, especially my daughter. But you know she just gained um, admission into the university ah. in Abuja. Mm. And it's a private school. Wow. You won't even believe how much it costs a whole year. A million naira. What? Yes. Wow. That is what Nigeria is turning into. That is serious. Unbelievable. <laughs> Hmm. But uh, that's serious. How are you coping? Jennifer. <laughs> it is only by the grace of God. In fact, God has been truly awesome. He has proven himself. Thank God for my tremendous husband. With his financial support, his moral support over the children. Can you imagine? I don't even know how I would have done it. It was, it was just God. That is all I can say. Amen. Oh. Oh, well, we thank God for his life. Ah, That's really good of him. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I have some praise reports from your parent. Brother Michael, I spoke to your mom before I came. Your mom told me about the 600,000 naira you sent last week. She was so grateful. If you see the way she was dancing, she was so excited. And she expressed her sincere appreciation and gratitude. And you, Jennifer, the same goes to you. Daddy was praying for you so, so hey, in fact, you, would, you could have heard his prayer over the phone. Over the 500,000 naira you sent as well. In fact, God is really using both of you. Eh? You guys are doing a great job. You are really trying. You, are, you have truly displayed that you are helping your parents. What is expected of you? Eh? My prayer is that the Lord will bless you. The Lord will increase you. He will continue to make a way for you. Your parents are truly grateful, oh. Jenny! So you mean you've been sending money to your parents and, and to Nigeria without informing me? Uh -huh. Did you tell me you were sending 600,000 naira to your family? Did you tell me? Please. Oh. Please. Don't act like you're innocent right now. So tell me, when did I have to take permission from you before I spent my whole money? Or before I sent money to my own parents? <laughs> Can you listen to yourself speak? Can you listen? What example are you setting? You should be ashamed of yourself. Jenny, that is very wrong. Please. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, both of you. Jennifer. I see. Michael. What type of life have you been living? Is this how you believe in your marriage? heading to a disaster. Your marriage is heading down for a danger zone. A bad pitfall. Are you serious? This is not what God ordained for marriage. A 
keeping things and hiding things from one another is definitely going to lead you down the wrong path in your marriage. What happened to transparency? You have to be clean and clear with both of each other. Jennifer! Even the Bible says in Genesis 2.25 The man and the woman were naked and transparent and not ashamed. Uh -uh. Where has the nakedness and transparency and, 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 and all that gone in your home? Where has it gone in your marriage? This is what God truly desires of you. This is what is expected of you. I am truly disappointed in both of you. And I'm definitely sure that God is not happy with you. When you live a life of, of, of lies and secrecy, it does not lead you anywhere. But instead, it leads you down a disastrous lane. You need to go back to the cross. You both need to turn back to God and ask God for mercy. Go plead on behalf of yourself and behalf of, of, of your marriage. Uh -uh. This is absolutely nonsense. I am not happy with you. And I know you know better. Is this how God ordained marriage for you? This is not what God said. No. No, 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 no. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. Both of you. We need to pray now. God. Heavenly Father, we just exalt you. Father, we thank you. Concerning this home, concerning keeping secrets from you in this marriage I haven't been hearing from God and I'm so ashamed that I can't even seek his face I could feel it in my spirit that I was doing something wrong I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for doing this. I'm sorry for hiding myself from you. Look, this is everything that I own. Everything that I own in Nigeria. My secret, uh, secret accounts, the landed property, the one I'm building and the one that I've not even started. You know, everything I own, Sam, does the one you hold belongs to every one of us. It's okay. You can keep all this document, okay? I will forgive you. You see, ever since I started keeping secret for you and I began to do secretive things, the face of God has been hidden from me and I've paid the tremendous prices for it. I'm so sorry too. I think we just need to go back to God and ask for forgiveness. Sure. 